Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cole here, and today I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare 2 loadout video. In this video, we're going to be going over my personal favorite aggressive M4 setup in Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing around with this thing a ton, trying to get it the best that I can in terms of a build that can be flexible with things like being aggressive, playing objective, but also holding those longer sight lines and being able to compete at longer ranges. If you are an aggressive or an objective based player, this is going to be one of, if not the best, assault rifle setups for you to use in the game. So before I stretch this intro out any longer, let's just get into the setup. So the first thing that we're going to be putting on the M4 is the muzzle attachment, and here we are going to equip the RF Crown 50. This is going to give us both horizontal and vertical recoil control, with a little bit of a con to our aiming stability and our ADS speed. The cons are pretty minor. Almost every attachment in Modern Warfare 2 is going to take away from your ADS speed a little bit. It's just been a consistent problem so far in the game. Aiming stability sounds bad, but as far as I can tell, I think this is just the idle sway when you're ADSing, so I don't think this is really that bad of a con either. And obviously, just getting more recoil control vertically and horizontally is going to be super, super helpful, especially for those mid to long range fights. So this is just a no brainer here. Once we have that, we are going to move on to the barrel section, and we are going to grab the high tower 20 inch barrel. This is an M16 barrel, so you will have to have leveled the M4 platform as a whole quite a bit to get this, but it is by far the best option for this weapon, because it's going to give you some extra bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy at the cons of only ADS speed, some movement speed, and hip recoil control. I've talked about hip recoil control in previous videos, but for those who might not know, it is genuinely your recoil control while you are hip firing. So it's really not a con that you should take into consideration. It's such a minor thing that you will never notice. Overall, this is just another great barrel for minimizing that recoil and getting a little bit more range out of it with things like the bullet velocity and the damage range increases. Again, kind of a no-brainer attachment in this regard. Once we have that, we are going to move to the underbarrel section and we are going to use the demo firm grip. This is going to give us some extra aiming idle stability to make up for that little bit earlier. Not really a big deal but it's going to give us even more hip fire accuracy and even more recoil stabilization at the cons of ADS speed and walking speed. Again, the gun's going to aim a little slower, but as you can see in the gameplay, even with all of these attachments that are slowing down our ADS, it really is still pretty quick compared to most weapons in Modern Warfare 2. It's not something you'll really notice when you're playing much. And again, just better recoil, hip fire accuracy, it's going to make this thing play better up close and at range. It's just super, super good to have can't recommend it enough. Moving on from that, I am running an optic on the weapon as you can see. This is completely up to personal preference. If you like or even love the M4's iron sights, you can completely skip this and add any other attachment of your choosing in another slot. But for me, the Cronin Mini Pro is perfect for this. It has easily been my favorite reflex and close range optic at this point in the game. It just has such a clean sight picture. It's precise, it's simple. I love it all around. It's going to take away from your ADS speed a little bit, but again, it's still pretty quick even with all these attachments on it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And last but not least, no MW2 weapon build is complete without a rear grip, and here I have chosen the Seiken ZX grip. This one's really simple, it's going to give you some recoil control and take away from your aiming stability, and again, I believe that's just like idle sway when you're ADSing and not actually doing anything beyond that, so it's not really that big of a deal. The recoil control just helps us keep this thing steady at close, mid, and long ranges once again. The recoil control on this build is phenomenal, and this only helps to boost it even more. So there you guys have it, there's the build. Let me know what you think when you run this in-game. Come back and tell me if you think that you have found anything that breaks this build, especially if you run it with iron sights and replace it with some other attachment. See if you can make this thing faster, if you can decrease that recoil even more, play around with it a bit if you like. If you think that the change that you make completely breaks the build even more, then please feel free to come back and let me know, and I would love to do a revised version and give you the credit for it. If there are any more MW2 weapons you would like to see me do a build of, feel free to let me know, and I'll check it out and see what I can do for it. Even feel free to get as specific as the certain playstyle, like if you want an SMG for aggressive objective play, something like that, let me know. If you enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, a comment, or a subscription just to let me know. Helps get the video out to more people, so I really, really appreciate it. And with all that being said, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed this build, then you'll probably enjoy my last one. Check that out right here.